If you've never put on your own connectors, it's actually relatively easy, especially using the PowerBox products here. So what I have here is a A141 lead that I'm going to use uh, to put an end on. Um, and we have a couple different uh, simple tools. One is a, uh, this is a uh, wire splicer, or sorry, wire stripper I like to use. And then a connector crimper is what you're going to need. So those are the only real tools you need for this entire process, really simple. Um, connectors. So here are, here's a, a package of full connectors here. Um, this is the, the male connectors we're going to start with. And by the way, when you look at connectors, um, they often can be deceiving on which side you need because they sell them in male and female. I know it sounds uh, stupid, but connectors are done by the pin shape, not the actual shape of the housing. So oftentimes where it, the old uh, JR style connectors like these, uh, uh, these are here, um, they look like um, they could be opposite. So reason what I say with this is that you need to look at the actual pin type. Um, so for these type of connectors, uh, which I really like about PowerBox, is they, they use the same pin. Um, so this is the actual pin that goes in the connector here, right? And this, um, this pin, um, you actually will slide this piece into it inside the connector and then put the housing on it. And that is actually why then this is the piece that goes into the next connector, so it's considered the male side. So even though it has uh, the housing around it and it looks like a female as it goes into it, it actually is the other way around because the way the pin shape is. But included in the package that you have is these these couple pieces. So you have instructions here, which are really nice because it's just uh, you know a simple guide to go through it. Um, you have the actual uh, center connector, the pin holder. Um, you have the pins, and you have the housing. And you've got the actual uh, male piece inside your pin connector. So they come out looking like this. Just have to wiggle these uh, the pins off some of these to uh, to get the pins to break off the, the um, piece of uh, metal there. Um, I've already gone and uh, cut the ends off. So some simple things to make it uh, really quick is you really only need you know three three millimeters or so. Uh, it's like three sixteenths or just just. Uh, just over an eighth inch or so of, of wire at the ends. I like this type of wire uh, stripper uh, for this type of stuff because it's really, I can do all three wires at one time. So here's the wires flattened out. You can see the twisted piece behind it. You just want to pull it flat in a little piece so you can get uh, get these together like this. Um, these are the, the strippers here. You can see they actually have you know a gauge inside here so into, into the jaws. So what I'll do is I'll push these into where it's about five millimeters in. Uh, and the reason why is that it will pull some of the insulation back, so it won't be, it'll be about three millimeters and when we go after it. So all you do is push them in the jaws like this and pull it real fast and nice and clean. Look at that, all three right off. It's beautiful. And then go ahead and twist these up, each one of these, and then we're going to go ahead and put the pins on. Okay, so here's the pin, um, and we need the crimper, right? You can get these through power box as well. And you can see it, it even says on here what size uh, wire. We're going to put it in the first one. And so what we want to do is take what I do like I like to do like this. I go through and put this pin this way into the jaws just so it's flush. And pull this forward just so you hear it click a couple times, and that you can see that the pin goes to the top of the jaws there. You can kind of see that there. And it's right on the end. It's right let's flush right there. Then grab one of the the wires, and you're gonna go ahead and slide one of these. Let me push this back so you can see it better. There you go. Slide one of these in so that the insulation goes into that last part of the crimp there because you want to actually have it hold the insulation and not just the wire. So you can pull it down then, you click all the way, then it releases, and boom, there you go. It's crimped perfectly, right? So uh, one of the things with this wire, if you notice with the power box wire, is that the insulation itself is, um, is, I don't know what the material is, but it is um, fire resistant or heat resistant. It's really lightweight, but you'll notice the wire itself really fine strands of copper. So this is why we like this stuff. It really works really well. So let me get the rest of these uh, crimped on here, and then we'll go ahead and put the connector together. Now that we have all the pins on, we want to go ahead and put the wire in the right order, and it's blue, red, and white. And you can tell by, again, the sheet that they give you is really nice because it shows you we did the first step, of course, stripping the wire. Then we went to number two, put the pins on, and now we're going to slide them into the uh, the housing here. So um, same direction as said. And what you want to do is make sure that the so you can see that the, the piece here, this little tab, you can see the indent here. This goes to the top because that's actually this piece catches the tab. You can notice the flat side goes in the bottom, right? So in the connector itself, um, you can see the holes in it. You want to hold those up as you do this. You can try to wiggle them in there and make sure they don't turn. 
So you go in like this. You know, here and click. Clicked right in. And you can see they are pulled. So the little tabs that you can see in top, they're grabbed, right? Then you go ahead and uh, you want to grab one of these uh, mail pin pieces here. Slide them in. Goes in all the way. And the next thing is the housing piece here. here. So, and you can see this if I can get this on the camera. You can see this is a little V. Let's see. Maybe the angle this way. And it's hard to see it. You can kind of see a little V in the middle there. And the V goes on the top. It goes this way with the pins up and just push it in the housing. And just click right in like that. There you go. And that's it. It's in. Oh, almost all the way. Sometimes I got to push it a little bit. There we go. Click. Boom. There it is. All the way in. That's a connector. So these go pretty quickly. Uh, really nice pieces. Um, and of course the male side is the same without, so the female side is the same just without the, the pins that go in in the housing. So it is the same, it is the same connector. So really simple. Um, hope this helps you guys out. And if you have any questions, uh, hit me up on Facebook or uh, in some comments. Thanks.